It's not a closed session. They have made it a closed session. They cannot do that, sir. No, they cannot. Under what under what rule? Sir, it's a public event. Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Sam Joaquin Jr. On this channel, we discuss police accountability and knowledge of your constitutional rights. Today, I'm bringing you a video by a channel that goes by the name Jessica Luther Rommel. On August 19, 2021, the city of Denton hosted a public event for the GOP Texas Nationalist Movement. This event took place at the County Elections Administration Building, which is public property. That building is supposed to be open to the public. Therefore, it is open to all types of press and all types of protest. Well, Ms. Ramel goes to record this event and is asked to leave by the county sheriff. What happened next is one of the most badass things you'll see on the internet today. So um, basically, they're holding a private meeting in a public, in a public building. Yeah, I guess so. I guess that Congressman Burgess approves of the Texas secession. It doesn't say anything about a closed session on the agenda. Okay. When she announced it? Sir, please don't put your face in my face. Oh, okay. When she announced it, it's like she's the chairman. She can make that decision. This is a public meeting. But we have this room reserved. It's a public meeting. It says it's open to the public. But we have this room reserved. I'm the only one who had to leave. Okay. Because you're not a precinct chair. Neither is everyone in the room. See you, sir. Stop, 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 stop. The stop. sheriff That's can enough. make me leave. That's enough. That's enough. Mm -hmm. Sheriff Murphy, come tell me why I'm not allowed to be in this room. It's not a closed session. They have made it a closed session. They cannot do that, sir. No, they cannot. Under what under what rule? Under their rules. Sir, it's a public event. They have gone into an executive session. Really? Then why are there other people in there with guest tags on? Why was that the only one allowed, made to leave? Don't know the answer to that. Sir, because they're lying. It was just a ploy to make me leave. Congressman Burgess is not is in there making a speech right now that is supposed to be a public speech. He is a congressperson. And you're telling me I don't have a right to go in there and document it? I'm telling you the people who have... This is not a private room. No, sir. They didn't rent this. I already pulled the records. They didn't rent this room. This is a public building that my tax dollars pay for. Sir, I'm going in that room. You're going to arrest me? You're going to arrest me? Are you going to arrest me? Yes or no? I'm going in that room. Make your choice right now. You make your choice. Tell me, am I under the threat of arrest if I go in that room? Sir, they don't have a right to do that. It's a public meeting. They have made it a private meeting now. Because I'm here? That is not allowed. They're, they can go to executive session. They're not in executive session. It doesn't even exist. It's not a thing. It says public meeting. There are other people in that room with a guest name tag on. No, you make your choice. Tell me right now. Are you going to arrest me for going in that room? Going in I am going in that room. No. And if one of those officers put their hands on me, I'll see the fuck out of you and them because they have no lawful order to touch me. Get in line. Yeah, get in line because you're such a stand up dude, right? You're fucking you lying. Rules. Those are not the rules. I will cuss you. I have a First Amendment right. What you, you told me earlier you're all about the Constitution. That's right. What about my constitutional rights right now? They've gone to executive no, they have not. Then why about. are there other people in there with guest name tags on? I don't know the answer to that. They can't do an executive session for a public meeting. Then sue them. Public meeting. Then I'm then going in that room. Not. Yes, I am. No. Yeah, I am. No. Excuse me, no. sir. I'd like to go. Don't, don't put your no. fucking hands on me. If you fucking touch me again, dude, what's your fucking name and badge number? Sergeant Larry Hughes. Badge number. 2425. Name and badge number. That's from Morrison, 2887. Please get out of my way. This no is a public man. building. No, ma'am. This is a public building. Not moving. I'll go on the other door. You're right. It's locked. So what I'll do is I'll just stand here and talk really loud. That will get you put in jail. Well, then we'll go in, in that room, get me put in jail. I am going in the room. So you're telling me, you're telling me you won't arrest me for going in that room, but you're using, you're using your deputies to stop me from entering a public space. You told me, I have you on film, you told me 30 minutes ago, this is a public space. I have a right to be here. I have not done anything. No, sir. That meeting was posted as a public meeting. And they've gone to executive... No, they have not. They can't just say, oh, it's not public anymore. Yeah, 
No, they can't because they didn't reserve the space. I'm not going to sue them. I'm going to stand up for my rights right now. So what I want to know is you're using your cops to serve as lynch men for the Denton County GOP. They don't work for Denton County. They work for you. They do what you say and what the GOP says. They do what I say. Yeah, they do what you say. You don't get to just make up the law as you go along and decide that all of a sudden a public event is a private event. They decided that, not me. They can't do that. I don't want to sue them. I want to go in the room because it's my right to do it and document what's going on in that room. No, yes, it is. That's Why did you tell me it was earlier then? Because it was a public meeting then. It was always a public meeting. They didn't apply to use this room. There is no record of them getting approval from the commissioner's court to use this room for a private event. I've been to these meetings before, and they're public all the way through. I have never been made to leave. They're just mad because I'm documenting. I don't know why they're mad or what they're doing. It doesn't matter what you know or don't know. Your opinion really means shit, Murphy. What you're doing right now is you're using your fucking deputies as lynchmen for the GOP. And I hope you, I hope you stand behind it because you know. Everybody's going to fucking see this. Shut the fuck up, you fucking idiot. I know you don't care. Because you get away with murder, right? You do. I'll tell you what, Murphy, since I got your full attention, how about I stand out here and talk to you right now? Why did your department cover up the murder of Lamont Stowers Jones? I don't know anything about that, really, because I have every report, every call log, every note ever filed through your office. And I know this. I know this. I know. Oh, your buddy, Ranger Barnes, who now works at UNT, who was removed from the Texas Rangers like you because he caught caught being a fucking thug because he's a murderer like you. You're a murderer. You covered up the murder of Lamont Stowers Jones, just like your department or working with Barnes helped cover up the murder of Darius Tarver. It's funny, huh? You think Darius Tarver? You think Darius Tarver's death is funny? No, it's not. It's then why are you laughing? Because you're an idiot. I'm an idiot. No. Yeah. You know what you are? You're a fucking thug. You're a fucking idiot. You wear a white hat just like the clutchers that came before. You're mad. Look how mad you are. You're fucking mad. You can hardly control yourself. Yeah, you killed your wife too. Get the fuck out of here. No. No. You can't make me. Don't you fucking touch me. Get the fuck off of me. I'm in a public space. No. Go. Go. Let's go. Go. I'm in a public space. You told me I could be here. Uh, you can't uh, make me uh, leave just because you don't go. like what I say. Go. You can't so change the law just because you go. don't like what I say. You're yelling. You're disturbing. I'm the not phone. yelling. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You didn't tell me to leave till I accused you of killing your wife. Don't you're just you you're just doing it because you're mad. I haven't killed anybody. Neither Never have been I. accused of it either. Neither have I. You have too. No, I haven't. Yeah, you have. Right. I've talked to several deputies who worked under you, and they know you killed her. Dude, you got an alcohol liar. problem. You got You're a drug a problem, too. You were driving that cart drunk when you knocked her off and she hit her head. You can't kick me out just because you don't like what I have to say. You don't get to change the laws just because you're mad. You are not judge, jury, and executioner here. Take three steps back from me, Sheriff. You're not wearing a mask, and you are within inches of me. That is a threat to my safety. You take three steps back. Fuck you. I'm wearing a mask, dumbass. You mad, huh? Yeah, you're mad. Mad. Never seen oh, I have. I know you're a murderer. I know you killed your wife and you used your power as a ranger to cover it up, which is why you got demoted and lost your job as a ranger. I know that you're now the sheriff of Denton County and you covered up the murder of Lermont Stowers Jones. I know that you do not care at all about individual freedoms and liberty. You think you're judge, jury, and executioner. You're just like the Ku Kluxers that came before you wearing a white hat. Yours just isn't as pointy, dude. Nobody's afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. Then why are you right fucking getting up on me trying to intimidate I'm me? Right here. I'm standing right here in a public place, too. You just charged me. No, I didn't. Well, yes, you do. We were standing over there. You just charged me, and look what's behind me. A fucking wall. Yeah, free, You're nothing free, but free. a fucking thug. You're a thug. No You're a fucking thug. That's all you are. You're just an agitator who nobody cares I came about here and stood quietly. Nobody cares about what you have to say. Oh, now I'm an agitator. I came here earlier and interviewed you. I was quiet. I didn't disrupt. And then they wanted to pull some bullshit to kick me out. I have a right to be here like anyone else, dude. Right here. Fine. You stay right here. Right. You just get to make the rules up as you go along because you're a fucking thug. You think you're judge, jury, and executioner. Why wouldn't you? You've already gotten away with murder. You're welcome. 
Of course you think you can do anything you want. You get to cover up murders and murder your wife and nobody does anything about it. Maybe you should lay off the bottle, you know? Have you done that yet? Have you stopped drinking, Murphy? Have you been able to kick it yet? What about you and your drug problem? My drug problem? What drug problem do I have? Tell me about it. No, I don't know about it. Tell me about it. What drug problem do you I have? Tell me about my drinking problem. Oh, you didn't have a drinking problem. I did. How do you know that? Because you were drunk when you threw your wife off the back of that golf cart and her head, her skull got crushed. Maybe you should listen to your friend. Maybe you should listen to your friend. I do know what I'm doing. I'm demanding my rights. Right. I've been so agitating the whole time I've been here until you tried to take my rights away from me. What you're not used to is people sticking up to you. You think I'm going to cower and be afraid of you? Take me to your jail, motherfucker. I'll be out in 15 minutes. Oh, I, oh, are you saying you would abuse your power to keep me in jail longer? That's what it sounds like to me. Sounds like you were, sounds like you're threatening me to abuse your power to hold me in jail longer than I should be there. I mean, bail bondsman, bail bondsman's watching right now, ready to go, honey. That's fine. It takes more than 15 minutes. That's all Okay, 30. Okay, maybe 30. Maybe 30. Okay. Great. So, let's talk about my supposed drug problem, Murphy. I've explained how your drug, alcohol problem led to the death of your wife. People told me. People told you what? Yeah, just like they told you that I have a drinking problem. That... Oh, well, I heard from your deputies. Who did you hear about my drug problem from? That's not your business. <laughs> oh, see, it's not tit for tat. Let's talk about how Denton County deputies keep showing up at my house for supposed 911 calls and trespassing on my property. Two times. Two times. Just because you didn't log the first one doesn't mean it didn't happen. Let's also talk about how you used your power to deny me an open records request. Oh, you don't want to talk to me anymore? I can't imagine why. I'm staying in this building. Miss Ramel went on a verbal onslaught, so much so that the sheriff could not bear to stand there anymore and take the words. You guys head on over to Jessica's channel and let her know San Joaquin Jr. sent you. Thank you all for watching, and remember, know your rights and always record.